I haven't washed the car in like five months. Let's go. Hey, hey. Let's go down the hill. Don't fall. It's cold if you fall. We you chewing? Oh, you got your bone. Two eagles. They weren't real big either. Kind of young ones, I guess. They come down here and they, you see them, there's always some freshly born eagles down here on the point ones off. <coughs> so what is it, March 18, 17? I think it's 18. Wake up to about two inches, uh, an inch. Yeah, we'll call it two inches. Wake up to two inches and some real moist snow coming down. There's, there's been quite a few years when we get a big dumping of snow. Right around the 20th, you know. So, it, it doesn't really, people don't like it, but they don't, they're not surprised. <laughs> we have a thing, it's called the Nanana Ice Classic. And they, hit, they put this big tripod on the ice. And they use it for a way to, to gamble. I mean, we love gambling, people. People love gambling. And uh, so they put this big, it's this big river. And it, it's, it's like a, it's like a, a milestone or a marker point in, in time when, when the, when the river opens up, the Nanana River opens up because they use that to take things into the interior of Alaska. Uh, to this day, I mean, there's no roads going there, so they just go there. Hey, hey, don't pull me, don't pull me. Thank you, what a good dog. to get stuff in anyways they had this big tripod out there and everybody you pay five dollars and you you make a guess an exact guess i think it's to the second i don't know um of when when the tripod's gonna fall through the ice and uh yeah it's called the ninana ice classic you could probably look it up online and maybe even buy tickets. I'm not sure. It'd be funny if... I mean, because back in the day, you'd have to go somewhere to go buy the ticket or something. But then they got further and further away, and now we have the internet. You could probably buy it from Argentina. <laughs> So I, I click around on YouTube and all that and there was this video and oh okay well first off I saw this this video and it was about a thing called Mel's Hole Mel's Hole <laughs> I'm like ew 
it sounds gross but anyways I clicked on it and I'm watching this video and it's about this big hole in the ground that goes down they say 10,000 feet they say that they they went down it with something that went 10,000 feet fishing line or something like that I call bullshit but okay fishing line 10,000 feet deep whatever the weight of the fishing line will get to be so much I, I don't think that, that'd be a good mathematical problem for people you know find out the tensile strength of fishing line the best that you could get diamond line or whatever you know we're catching sharks find out the strongest fishing line you can get which they didn't say it was that they said he had fishing line around because he was a fisherman so he's not he's not going after the biggest whales and sharks that he can get to catch them on a hook you know that doesn't happen so fishing line okay fishing line is so strong and it weighs a certain amount and so it's kind of like oxygen or atmosphere the more you get the higher up you go the more stuff is stacked on top of it and so we have this pressure there's a high pressure on the bottom because of all of the things that are stacked on top of it and there's less there's a low pressure up above because there's less things stacked on top of it and yes there is an up and down and it's just the way that we decide we could change the name if if you really have a problem with it we could call it down and up so now towards your feet if you're standing upright <laughs> downright if you're standing downright towards your feet we're gonna call that up and now traveling in a direction from your feet to your head while standing in a normal direction we're gonna call that down okay so now everything's backwards all right <laughs> it doesn't matter we're just thinking of <coughs> the idea I, I left this in a comment somewhere maybe somebody's seen it <laughs> maybe they haven't but it's all it's all just you know an idea i don't need to read a book and uh oh i think it was on asbestos head and i don't know maybe people think i'm being negative or i'm going against you i, I don't know but i don't I don't need to read a book. I don't need to know the names of the people. I mean, it, it gets to the, I've already had this discussion. It gets to the point where it's, it's just so that you can convey it to other people. And, and in all reality, you can't convey anything to other people because they'll perceive it their own way from the way that they were, the way that they were grown, the way that they got to this point in their life. To wait to where they heard your little fucking story i i saw this this weird there's all sorts of weird things and people i mean i don't understand maybe they think it adds to mystery or something like that maybe they're trying to get money i don't know but they they do all these like mysterious things just come out and say what the fuck you want to say but anyways there's this like ted talk thing and this guy's got this thing this is embarrassing, this is embarrassing, this is embarrassing, this is embarrassing, this is embarrassing. You know, they say it over and over again. It's a whole crowd of people. And uh it on the on this on the screen it says uh it says this is embarrassing. And it kind of flashes, you know, as they start it over. They start saying, This is embarrassing, this is embarrassing. Every time they go to this like a flash so you know that's the beginning and he draws your attention to the words we'll come to find out it says it once and then after that it's all just things that sound like it I saw this other video where this guy was tripping on man's laughter man's laughter is manslaughter uh, I don't know so all these things it 
if it doesn't show you that it doesn't really fucking matter, then, then I don't know. I guess, I guess you're, you're trapped in these, in these, uh, limits that are put onto you, the limits that put you into a, into a box and you have a limit now and you want to, you want to extend your limit, you want to go to the, the gold level. Well, we, we got gold level, we got platinum, we got super ultra platinum, we got zinc oxide and all these different levels. <laughs> Just pay, pay more. Pay what? <laughs> A rupee. A yen. A peso. Piso. You know, I'm sure we all love humans because we're a human. But then, if you if you divide that human up into other parameters, you can you can actually not like that. If it becomes a human that's not the same as you, what is it? Come on! Jeez. Bitch, you need to fucking learn what a fucking footprint is. It's not the thing you're after. Hey. Smell the footprint. Oh, like, what's it say? Uh. I had this for breakfast. Ooh. What she's imagining here. <sighs> Not figure anything out. I got more subscribers. I wonder why. I wonder why I got more. <laughs> you guys have all seen my videos like weird clicking popping noises buzzing noises the thing can't fucking focus you can never see the sky where's the fucking sky where am I it's in Alaska I guess it's I would be interested I think it's interesting I'm super fucking proud of where I live so yeah I guess you could be watching for that. Look at this thing. Look at it. When you look, when you look at ice, ice, you can't really see through most of it, you know? But it has this, oh, okay, I guess I'm going this way. It has like a translucentness. I always thought, this might make me look stupid, but I don't care. Because I never really looked into it. And it's just a fucking word. And I have the concept of it in my mind. So anyways. Opaque. Opaque to me sounds like translucent. It was opaque, like you could see through it. But opaque is you can't see through it. <laughs> oh, he learned. He learned it, but how old was he when he learned it? I really don't mind. I'll, I'll tell you this just to make my point. I know all the names of the months. I'm not a fucking farmer. I, I didn't know the order until it was like absolutely necessary. And I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm still like, I'm just learning them, you know? I don't have it like memorized. 
where you could tell me a month and I could tell you what was before and after it. <laughs> Two places. You know, I, I don't have it like that. It's funny. You, oh, well, that's going to make you miss appointments and things. Well, actually, it doesn't. What month is it? Ten. That's the easiest. That's the easiest fucking numbering system that I've ever fucking heard of. What month is it? One, two, three, four, five, six. What year is it? Oh, blue, blue, but the sick of Why don't you just call it a number? Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll call it a number. Well, I thought we were gonna name all the different years. Blurg Turkenbergy. Blurg Turkenbergy. Happy Blurg Turkenbergy. Oh, okay. You're welcome. God bless you. God bless you. I saw a thing on, on YouTube and uh, it was some fucking. <sighs> I, I'm sorry, but you know, you could have good intentions all you fucking want. And, and your own people right there will tell tell me that I'm going to hell unless I accept Jesus Christ. So all this fucking shit. I don't feel bad going backwards and saying you guys are... <laughs> if, if you... Supposedly in your, in your idea of the way things work, if you worship the wrong God, you're going to hell forever. And, and I can prove that yours is fucking fake. So you're going to hell forever by your own fucking things. You 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 made this up and you can't even fucking follow the rules. You're going to hell. Oh, you're not allowed to say that to people. Oh well, now I'm going to hell. We're all going to hell. Anyways, I forgot what I was even going to say. It was better than that. Hmm. Oh well. It wasn't that good. I'm trying to hold on to this stupid fucking lanyard so it doesn't go tinky 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 tink all the time. I think I was talking about naming things. He talks about that in Eric talks about that in asbestos head. Talking about the tree blurbs and all these other blurbs. things okay well I was talking about Mel's hole Mel's hole let's talk about you want to talk about Mel's hole some more not really <sighs> sounds kind of gay Mel's hole it's a big hole it's, it's in Washington somewhere they say it's 10,000 feet deep and they they could put the fishing line down it and then uh, when he starts talking about it and people hear about it on the radio on coast to coast with Art Bell or whatever the fuck it was called and uh and then it becomes one of those reddit stories where it's like the army comes they take his land away and they they, they say well we feel bad about taking your land away even though it's all set up that way where we don't even have to feel bad about it thanks for keeping it warm Quit pulling like that. Anyways, they, in the story, they say they give him $3 million. Tell him he has to leave. $3 million a year or something like that. For for them to rent his land. And it's like, oh, okay. There's some fucking hole. Come on! There's some fucking hole in this thing. And it's 10,000 feet deep. And they, they just use it for throwing away garbage. They throw garbage down it. And then one day they, they drop some ice down it and the ice, you see, they think it gets hotter as it goes down lower. And so they drop some ice down it to see how low it can go before it melts. And it comes back out and they leave ice up on the top. And, and when the ice on the top melts, they pull the other ice up to see how it's going. I guess, I don't know. It's their experiment, it's not mine, okay? 
So they pull it up and the ice is still there, but it's different. It's, it's not cool to the touch anymore and uh, it doesn't melt even on the top of the thing. So they're like, what the fuck? And they light it to try to melt it. They're trying to melt it so they use fire and it catches on fire. And it won't go out. It burns and 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 burns. And, and, and uh, whatever. I guess they put it out eventually or something. I don't know. But then let's fast forward to the story because it's kind of stupid and you don't get any information. So years later, after a bunch of bullshit, like, oh, I got pictures that don't have pictures. I thought about taking pictures, but then I remembered that you can't take pictures because it doesn't work. And oh yeah, I got pictures, but I forgot to bring them. Okay, whatever. Now the hole's gone. The military is gone and uh you you're allowed to go back and look for it you can go back and look for it everybody's looking for it so anyways um i guess some indians found a hole indian hole instead of mel's hole it's an indian hole so now we're we're going to the indian hole and the indians find it and they they get it, they end up with some fucking flaming ice too and they take the flaming ice one of them takes the flaming ice home because it's uh because it's fucking cold in his house and he's like flaming ice fuck yeah i'll just fucking heat my house with it so he takes it home and he heats his house with it and uh i guess he has it in a wood stove or something just the ice burning and uh eventually it it burns a hole into the ground and it it, it, it creates another hole <coughs> another hole the animals won't go by but birds will fly around it and so the indian hole they're like they're sheep herders so they got they got a sheep oh and they're talking with mel now they got mel down there around their hole they're like hey we heard you had a hole we've, we've got a hole now too and we want to play with our hole can you help us play with our hole and he's like yeah first off let's put a sheep down there see what happens to the sheep oh no somebody's like i want to climb down there i want to i want to go down in the hole can you send me down in the hole yeah yeah we can we can send you down in the hole uh, all the animals are scared of the hole but we'll, we'll send you down and, and then somebody's like hey well you know that guy's probably gonna die and if he dies then we'll have to stop playing with the hole so let's send something down there that nobody cares if it dies a sheep Hey, I got a sheep. He's not he's not my favorite one. We'll send him down. The sheep's like, wait, are you talking about me? You're talking about me, aren't you? I don't want to go down the hole. Uh, yeah, you're going in the hole. No, no, I don't want to go in the hole. All right, so they put him in a box. He's like, fuck you guys. I guess I'm going down the hole. This is on you, though. I, I'm against this. This is against my... This is against my will. And they put him down the hole. Just a thousand feet. They'll put the sheep in a hole. A thousand feet. And then leave him down there for half an hour. And they pull him up. And it just looks normal. But it's not moving, it's like all lifeless. So they, they get closer to it and they're like, oh shit, the thing's dead. Come to find out, it, it got cooked from the inside out. Like it's a microwave hole. Microwave hole. Microwavable hole. Your microwavable hole. Anyways. So they cook the sheep. But it gets interesting to find out that they cooked the sheep. They had to do an autopsy. Well, the sheep's dead. We know the sheep's dead, so let's cut it open and find out why it's dead. Huh. We, we cooked it. Okay, so half an hour in the Indian hole in a wooden box that doesn't burn up. The, the sheep doesn't even burn up. It's like a... Hey, come on! Quit pulling! 
Can you just fucking walk? There's a tumor in the sheep. So they take the tumor out. They wanna find out what's going on with this tumor. And it's moving. The tumor's moving, so they're like, what the fuck? And so they cut the tumor open. They do a autopsy, a, a dissection of the tumor. And uh, there's a baby seal inside. What they call a baby seal? It looks like a baby seal. You see, with the goddamn porn, will you give me a fucking break? Give me a break! Doesn't feel good, does it? It's got a baby seal in it. This is what they said. It's not my fucking story. So the tumor has a fucking baby seal in it. This is, this is all related to Mel's fucking hole. Mel's hole and the Indian hole and the stove hole. The stove went down into the ground and made a hole of its own. So now you can send some ice down there and make your own fire ice and then put it in your own stove and you can have your own hole your own hole that goes 10,000 feet deep and you can put sheep inside it and make baby seals in tumors. All right, I'm on board, let's go. The guy, Mel, he's hanging out with the Indians, remember? He's got, he's got cancer. He's gonna die of cancer. Well, the baby seal, Cures his cancer, and you know, just for no reason, they're, they're like they're like cuddling the baby seal, you know, everything. It's got human eyes. They're like, it's one of us. We love this baby seal, and for some reason, our Mel was like, I want to put it by the, I want to put it by the hole. It's the birthplace. I want to, I want to show the hole that we got its baby seal. So they put it up there, and the baby seal is like, "Come on!" It jumps in the hole. Long story short, it jumps in the hole. That's the end of the fucking story. People trying to find it. Can't find the hole. The hole's gone. You can tell that the military was there because they leave like plaques. Isn't that it's fucking stupid. It's fucking stupid. And uh that led me to another video about Oak Island Treasure. I'm sure you guys have heard of it. There's a fucking TV show about it. frustrating the way that the world works the way the world works and all these lies all this all this shit I, I didn't really talk about it very good and I probably won't today either but that guy from Ganja or Ganja Ganji 
the black dude from Africa dropped out of high school or dropped out of school. He's a stupid guy. He's making electricity for it's like a radio wave. Kind of like Tesla probably. The Radcliffe Tower and all that bullshit. like this runny nose but it's not like a real runny nose it's weird so I think we gotta talk about Project Blue Beam some more. People need to talk about that. Go ahead and make a claim. Ha. These people need to fucking prove it. Okay, you see some fucking aliens? Cause everybody's fucking seeing aliens now. So you saw some aliens, huh? But it couldn't possibly be you know, Project Blue Beam. You know, everybody knows about Project Blue Beam. Where well, they're gonna fake the aliens. The alien, what we need to make everybody want to be in a one world government is we need aliens. And and just by chance, there happens to be aliens, but we've been keeping it a secret. And pretty soon we can't keep it a secret anymore. But we got this technology where we can fake aliens and we got this plan on the books, people talking about the plan. Hey, you ready for the plan? What plan? The plan where we fake the alien invasion so we can get everybody to come together and we can all be one one group ruled by them all. One group ruled by them all. By the ring or whatever the fuck, I don't know. So, we got this thing called Project Blue Beam and we're, we're doing it. But hey, look at, over there, there's some aliens. What the fuck is wrong with people? What the fuck is wrong with people? I don't understand. Ah, they're gonna fake the alien stuff. But look, aliens, they really came. They were gonna fake it and now there's aliens. It's like, hey, we're gonna fake some aliens. But look, we were gonna do it, but they came anyways. Isn't that special? Look who's here. Ronald McDonald came to your birthday. Really? Yeah, Ronald McDonald loves you. He wants to make love to you. What? I mean, Ronald McDonald loves you. Okay. What was that other thing you said? Nothing. Are you sleepy? We got this punch. It tastes funny. It tastes sour. Are you sure it's not rotten? Like rotten grapes? Yeah, it's okay. Drink your juice. Ron McDonald wants to take a nap. On Epstein Island. They got videos. Yeah, Epstein's alive. He's on the island. He wants you to come join him. Win a cruise to Epstein Island. Do you want to go in the submarine? It goes into places that... You you never thought you could. And the magical submarine. My submarine is going on a journey. It's going somewhere really, really deep. My heart submarine. My heart submarine. And me. And you. I mean, what? You want to go in it? <laughs> We're going to Mel's Hole first. We're going to go in 10,000 feet. 10,000 feet in Mel's Hole. That's 
that's a porno I saw one time. It's not a very good one. It's kind of gross. <sighs> 10,000 feet in Mel's hole. Mel's hole. <laughs> I can't stop saying it. I'm obsessed with Mel's hole. That Indian hole is just a fucking cheap copy. I want Mel's hole. 10,000 feet and strong. <laughs> ah, but you know. That's stupid. The hole gave him cancer. Mel's hole gave him cancer. I'm all snowy. I didn't even wear my gloves, it's so warm. Come here, Garu. Guess what? He's taking a piss. The fiftieth one on the walk. I would, I would, I wouldn't be surprised if he took fifty peas today. Every time I turn around and look at him, he's pissing on something. pissing on it. We should pee on things too, I think. You're on camera! Come here, Smiley. He's shy. Come here. It's taking your soul. I'm taking your soul. It's, it's going to be in this box. Yeah. I'll keep it for you. Come on, let's go. Hey, hey, hey. That's my boy. Don't, don't bite him. Oh. Oh. You get him one more time? No, she said I could have got you. I just saved your life. I just saved your life. No, you almost killed me. But I didn't, so I saved your life. Whoa. You fell down. You're fat. You're fat. You're fat, 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 fat. Crazy eyes. Come on, let's go up the hill. Why don't you pull me? These are my... Come on. These are my tracks right here. All covered up with snow. Oh, well. Guess that's the end of the walk. The fakeness continues. Everything's fake. Why do we do this? Well, what's the catalyst? Do you think there can be a catalyst where we're all just like, fuck it. Fuck this. You know? I locked the 
car. back as long as they didn't steal my weed I'm okay <laughs> beautiful truck I watched these videos when I was a kid. Gangster rap. Gangster rap was so fucking bad. You could listen to that and everybody would think you were badass. Look at that guy's bad. He's up to no good listening to gangster rap. Fuck the police. All that shit. Grave diggers, nigga. Six feet. Deep! Oh, we're gonna kill you, I guess is what that means. <laughs> All those guys were born women. <laughs> All that fucking bullshit. All that fucking bullshit. Uh, what's his name? Ice T. In his fucking overalls and his fucking gay dance routine. What the fuck? What the fuck? All that fucking bullshit. NWA. Niggers with attitude. They they sang in the church choir. They sang in the church choir and they... They started off wanting to be like a 50s group. Yeah, see? Not even fucking locked. Great. Somebody could have been up here drinking my coffee. Who knows what? Spitting in it. Here's to gay niggers with attitude that used to be. Well, actually, I guess they're not gay, are they? If it, if they're born women and they do guys. I saw a thing, a thing on YouTube where it was Justin Bieber talking about how Will Smith made him eat his ass. Go, Ro, come here. I saw a thing, I saw a thing talking about how Quincy Jones. Gets to fuck all the rappers. Quincy Jones. Fucking the rappers. The hard ass fucking rapper. Right in his hard ass. Come on. Quincy Jones. The guy they're talking about on uh, Austin Powers. You know. Bump -ba -dum -bump. Bump -ba -dum -bump. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Come on. Isn't that weird? Is that weird or what? Come on. You got... You got young rap stars coming up in the game talking about the parties. They take them to the parties. And you're supposed to go in there and, and fucking do all this gay shit. You're supposed to... Everybody says, oh, they're going to make the black man wear a dress. They make everybody, every man wear a dress. It's not just the black man. Cause it's all fucking backwards. All fucking backwards. I think that's kind of fucking weird. That's kind of fucking weird. Here's this guy working for the man. Go check the garbage. I used to drive around in a fucking car all day. Fucking a hole. What a fucking sellout. <laughs>